Hey guys, we got us a um, no cooling call. They did not need to put a pad down on this one, but they did. Let's get my tools and see what's going on. Inside they had a um, very That's a gecko y'all just saw Inside they had a very dirty one of those 3M filters What in the world? Lovely. I can feel it moving some heat. Let's check pressures. It was hot in there, 80 degrees. Ow. This gas meter and this condenser are too close. Not only is it making it hard to work on it, but by code it's too close. That's supposed to be three feet from here to here, and I'm not sure it is. Let's check pressures. Mm. That's going to be low. This is going to be an R22 system. $19.99 R22. Two and a half ton. The girl here does not speak English. I need to call and see what they want to do with this. It's a five. And this is a 35. So a 35 five and a contactor and maybe charging it up a little bit. <laughs> and Possibly a new filter. Let's go inside. Here. We have us an upflow here.
Hmm. That's twisting. I'm going to have to remake those connections. Both of those broke. And oh, but word, look at that wire. <sighs> Lovely. Not a heat pump, I don't have crankcase heater. So we're using a two, two pole as we go back. Show y'all how I tighten these up. A little bit there. A little bit there.
this goes up here. So we're gonna put this in a lug. This is going to be my condenser fan motor. This is going to be my compressor. Let's get something to strap that. <laughs> Everything's wired up, right? <laughs> All right, that looks much nicer. I'm gonna clean that up. better all right I'm gonna go get some refrigerant we're gonna get this charged up and I gotta go get it all right we got this started up probably has a TXV on it. All right, let's charge it a little bit at a time so y'all can see what I'm doing.
super heats above 20 it's going above 30 32 degrees I have no accumulator here so once it starts running through the compressor just wait a little while and then charge again now it's about 85 to 87 degrees out here according to this I'm at 87.1 that suction pressure is going up kind of fast if I can watch out I prefer not to go any higher on my head pressure. I'm going to turn you all off while I watch this for just a little bit. This is where I have settled out. That head pressure is a little bit high, but it is hot in there. It's nearly as hot in there as it is outside. My suction before was in the 50s. Now I'm hovering around 80. I just need to go get them a filter. That head pressure makes me think that this is not pure R22, like it's been charged before. But um, if we continue to, if that gives us a problem, we can evacuate what's in there and um, charge it with virgin free on. Well, guys, I got the new filter put in, and I took a picture of the old one. It's one of those 3M finely pleated and it's kind of black. And she gave me some corn on the cob. It's a Korean woman. But they know how to cook some corn on the cob. This is good. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.